of Mexico. In their canyon wall settlements, the traditional Taramara live on a simple diet. They grind corn to make thick tortillas and a roasted corn powder known as pinoli. Although the Copper Canyons can be very hot in the summer, freezing winters mean food may be scarce, so genes that help store fat become an advantage. If you did not have that ability to store fat for those lean times, then you would die. So they actually need those genetic traits in order to survive. Few roads reach here, and for many centuries the Taramara have lived with a near vertical transportation network. In their downtime, the Taramara compete in a staggeringly long traditional race. up vertical ascents, the Taramara knock spots of ultra-fit visitors who struggle to keep up. These Taramara are still making good use of genetic mutations that date back to our earliest ancestors. But as soon as they leave, problems emerge. Many Taramara move away from the canyons and into cities like Chihuahua. When they move off the mountains, their genetics start to work against them, and they face serious health issues. Those who have become urbanized, and those who are living a life of abundance, for them today, what was once a, a way of surviving has now become a way of, of becoming sick. Dr. Jesus Arguias sees the downsides of the Taramara's genetic inheritance firsthand. The main cause of death among these people with obesity is diabetes. In fact, the correlation is so strong that the term diabetes has been coined to describe it. Martin Castillo is a Taramara man who struggles in a modern environment. When Martin first came, he had several problems, one of which is that he is insulin resistant, which means he was already in the early stages of diabetes. If he doesn't stop eating fats and sugars, his condition will worsen and eventually kill him. The problem affects not just the Taramara, but the whole of the country. Mexico is the second most obese country in the world. Mexicans seem to have a genetic predisposition towards obesity, and the environment, their diet, and other genetic factors make this even worse. Mismatched diseases are not the only way in which the Industrial Revolution influenced the evolution of us. Medical science is trying to come to terms with the diabetes epidemic. But for many diseases, discoveries in the world of medicine have already saved millions of lives.